Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome. Thank you for coming in. I'm Mariana, your personal development coach. And I'm Nick, your fitness coach. And, and together, together we are your, your relationship, relationship coaches. coaches. And today we'll be talking about an oops conversation. What is it and how do you make it back together from it? So yeah. what is an oops conversation? An oops conversation? Uh, it, it's that thing that you say and your head is going, or your brain is going, stop, <laughs> say no more, and your mouth carries stop. on moving, and words come out, that, and wor words that you don't, honestly, I think a, l a high percentage of the time, you don't really mean, no, you're no. saying them in anger, or frustration, or upset, you know, those, So that's those like saying... But that was dumb. Yeah. Like, like saying something like that to your partner. Yeah. Or using that other word. That was stupid. Yeah. And you're like. Ooh. Or you're stupid. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Or when you get, you know, taking something a little bit too far and becoming more personal. Yeah. You know, th those are the kind of oops conversations that you can have. Um, and I, th the thing that frightens me about them is, mm. I, I kind of capped on this the other week mm. it is that they can't be rewound no that you can never take them no, back you can't take them and, back. and they always have no, no matter what you did or say they do have a very negative value yeah uh, and that's not something you ever want to keep in a relationship yeah. so making it back from an oops conversation yeah um it's it's a very delicate situation yeah. first and foremost it's not something that you may resolve within an hour it's something that over time you would have to regain that trust yeah because that's what's happened there. yeah the trust has been broken yeah it? it's been persons completely. look at trust being broken as having outside relationships mm. as the only way trust could be broken but it's also being able to share certain things with you and knowing that I can trust my partner not to lash out at me. Yeah. I can trust my partner not to be overly critical or judgmental. Mm. They could give constructive criticism. They could give an overview of how they see something, but don't come across as though they're being the bigger person in yeah. that, you know, they're better than you or they're being overly critical. So first of all, time is going to be what is what you have to use. Yeah. You, it's not going to happen overnight. You have to be patient. Yeah, it, it isn't going to happen to... And I think one of the other key things is is recognising that you made that oops conversation, yeah. you made that oops comment, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And it may be that at the time of making it, you, you could, you know, like we were talking about um, stop, drop, etc. You have to You have to stop that conversation there and then and you have to realise, heck, I should never have said that. Yeah, yeah. A and I think if you come back with that almost immediately, mm -hmm. that's a big leap forward. Yeah. Because now you've taken your emphasis mm -hmm. off whatever the, what mm -hmm. was causing that conversation, why did I suddenly say that, to now say, look, you know, I'm sorry, I should I really shouldn't have said that, you know, it's the heat of the moment, it was the, the passionate conversation we were having, uh, and yeah. I, I went too far. And yeah. it does give you a chance to talk about mm -hmm. it and try and mm -hmm. get it sort of out in the open and yes. deal with it there and then. Yes. But you, you're right, you, you can, uh, it's only time that we mm -hmm. will rebuild that level of trust up again so that you can carry on yeah. and, and do some yeah. more about it. And you use these moments as a moment to get into strengthening your relationship. Yeah. You take this time to say, okay, are we going to run from this situation and this problem or are we going to resolve it? That's, that's a huge thing you have to yeah. look at also. Is this relationship worth being resolved? Is what I'm going through something that I want to resolve in order to have a better relationship with this person yes. you always know that's the thing sometimes we put ourselves in situations where we don't want to have that solid type of relationship with the person we with and we're afraid and so 
things like this are what determine if you are prepared to really stick it out or if you're and going invest. to run. You're, yeah, you're, you're, invest, going to you're invest. investing in your relationship with, like, the, with another person. Yeah. And yeah. on the flip side, yeah. for the person receiving it, you have to know whether this partner of yours is someone who can be trusted if they're someone who you really want to be with. Yeah. Now I know we always we're always in favor of keeping the relationship, but we're not gonna say, Oh, you should stay in a destructive relationship. Yeah. There there's Definitely also not. that aspect of it I do want us to touch on a bit. Um, the fact that, you know, you have persons who say subtle things to you just to wear you to down. wear you down. And yeah. psychologically they're hurting you. You're yeah. having an internal conversation yeah. and you're not even realizing it's these small things that they say. Um, they might be continuously saying you're a wasteful person yeah. or you don't ever do certain things right. And they can sometimes these people try to put them across jovial, this comical way. And just, just look out for these things. And maybe we should do a video on that, you know, destructive habits to look out for. Not mm -hmm. that we have all the answers, not no. that we're perfect either, because there are cases where people do genuinely make a genuine error. It's the heat of the moment, it's mm. the emotion, and you can use but, your discretion. But do you, do, you not, do you not think, though, that when you... Okay, so, so let's say I make, yes. I make some kind of dreadful comment to you that I shouldn't do, mm -hmm. and I know it, mm -hmm. and I acknowledge it. Yeah. But in your heart... Mm -hmm. You kind of know mm -hmm. that's really unusual. He, he, you know, he wouldn't normally say something like that. Mm -hmm. and, and I think if it happens once, mm -hmm. and, and you you have the opportunity to do something, if it happens twice, and it depends on the time frequency, that's one yes. thing. Yes. Three, four, five times, mm -hmm. then to me that is a much bigger issue. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you're not, you, you have somebody there who is wearing you down, who mm. is not giving you the respect that mm -hmm. you need and deserve and are, yeah. you know, entitled yeah. to within a relationship. Yeah, because when you think of it, someone who, who loves you and who pretty much would go around bragging about you as a partner wouldn't feel right tearing you down. No. Like, you just don't feel you right can't, you can't hurting the person that you love so much, that you have so much respect for. Yeah. You trust them also, so you, you want to show that they can trust you. Like, you want this specific type of, not positive relationship, but a healthy relationship. That's mm. what I want to say. And so, you know you want to invest and you want to have that type of healthy relationship which you want to grow yeah definitely yeah. and i think uh, you're, you're right there it's all it's all about valuing the investment mm -hmm. that you've put in yeah. and recognizing you know mm -hmm. i've been in this relationship for whatever length of time mm -hmm. do i want to continue it mm -hmm. you know making the best yeah uh, and you know ensuring you get the best but it again it's it's all back to our key word communication that's what it's all yeah. about every day every time. time yeah every day i like that that's <laughs> it every day every time that's it yeah that's going to be a key catchphrase. That's yeah. going to be a catchphrase. Yeah, get that in every video from now on. Every, every day, day, every time. time. Okay. All right. So thank you for watching. We really enjoyed spending this time with you. Yep. Great Leave to see you. Leave a comment yep. below if you have any questions or any comments, anything you'd like to ask us. And I'm the shameless one, so hit the subscribe button, <laughs> hit the like button, and there's a bell notification. Click on that, and then you'll know when we have new videos. So, subscribe, like, bell, or subscribe, like, bell, depend on which way around it is on the video, I'm not quite sure, <laughs> but right. please do, alright, come back, see us again, alright, bye, bye, peace out.